how far we've come, my baby Might have took the long way We knew we'd get there someday They said, I bet They'll never make it But just look at us holding on We're still together Still going strong Thank you everyone, you may now be seated I would like to officially welcome you all to the marriage of Michael Patrick Housefield and Danielle Pearl Underwood. Now, Mikey, I know you hate your full name, but unfortunately we do have to say it just one more time throughout the ceremony. But before that, hi, again, my name is Kyra Seaton and I am duly authorised, sorry, I am the authorised marriage celebrant solemnising the marriage of Mikey and Danielle today. I'm duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you are joined in my presence and the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are about to enter. Marriage, according to law in Australia, is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. Before we get started, Danielle and Mikey would like to take a moment to reflect and remember those who are unable to be here today. While they may not be physically here with us, they're most definitely watching over these two, lovebirds, and this day. So obviously we're here to get these guys hitched right. And it's about time. But we've, before we get to the legal parts, I'd like you all to take a step back in time with me. Sorry. I said no glasses. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's try that again. Let's take a trip back in time. The year is 2010. Instagram has just launched. The Twilight Saga eclipses in theatres. One Direction were just formed. And in a tiny town in New South Wales, the bell has just rung. It's recess and a shy, quiet Danielle is sitting with her friends, sopping snacks that each other's parents wouldn't buy. Life is good when all of a sudden, a tall, handsome, red-headed guy. You know the kind of guy that's like really popular, almost too cool to talk to? Well, he walks by and catches Danielle's eye right then and there. He's the new kid on the block. Ooh. So, of course, he's hot property. <laughs> and it did take Danielle a little while to get up the courage to say hello. Over the next year... The crush built and built and built until finally she worked up that courage to make her move. See, the thing that stuck out most when they first met for Danielle was obviously Mikey's gorgeous red hair and his handsome face. <laughs> but for Mikey, it was a little different. Uh, it was actually the other end of um, <laughs> Danielle's buddy. It was her bum. And still is. Even Nana Gray's here. <laughs> um, sorry. It wasn't until they got to know each other and started dating in 2012 that Danielle realised just how much their values aligned and from then on they were inseparable. A sick Danielle and Mikey's fully sick car led to their first kiss and the first moment they realised how much they loved each other and the realisation that they were going to spend the rest of their lives together. It was the first time Mikey said, I love you too. Well, not verbally. See, Mikey has a very special way of saying I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he took my joke because he did it too fast. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just the beginning of their first as well. They moved, for the first time they moved out, they had their first daughter, Ivy, in 2018. They bought their first home in 2019 and welcomed their first son, Jed, in 2020. They handled Mikey's first cancer treatment and his first clean scan together. They got their first dog, which was followed, about nine, followed with about 9,342 other dogs, <laughs> cats, chickens, any animal, you name it, they've got it or had it. <laughs> they sold their first home and moved town for the first time together, all the way to little old Bogabri. 
Throughout these firsts, they've always put one another above everything else, and that's what's gotten them through all of the good, bad, and the ugly. Uh, to this moment here today, declaring their love for each other and taking the next step in their relationship. Having the honor, I've had the honour of getting to know these guys over the last eight years. Sorry, eight years. <laughs> Putting my, myself into your story a little bit longer. <laughs> eight months. <laughs> and it's been very evident of the love that they share. Um, not, they, just, they pretty much share everything, I've, I've come to notice. Um, they share the jobs, the pressure of their jobs. They share the care of their children. Hold on to that hat, Jado. Uh, they share the struggles during Mikey's treatment and everything in between. They spend every day like it's a gift, a gift to be together, to have found each other, their soulmate and best friend, and soon to be husband and wife. So, with that being said, should we get these two married? Yeah. I think we can do a little better than that, guys. Come on. Yeah. Should we get these guys married? Yeah. There we go. All righty. A little change of location. Mikey, Danielle, today you are choosing each other to be each other's forever. You're promising to find the good in all of the obstacles life might throw at you. You're choosing to support one another through the highest highs and the lowest lows. Choosing to continue to be the team you already are. Choosing to be each other's person now and always. So, Mikey, do you promise to continue being Danielle's right-hand man? To never stop smacking her bum, even when you're old. To be a brave, big-hearted fighter. To sometimes remember to put things back where they belong. And please, dear God, take those boots off when you get home from work. Do you choose her above all others to be your wife now and always? I do. He was a little bit worried about that one. Danielle, do you promise to always be Mikey's best friend, his soulmate, to be his compassionate, supportive, stubborn, vivacious girl, the one he fell in love with all those years ago, to try and remember the washing is on the line and bring it in, just every now and again? Do you choose him above all others to be your husband now and always? I do. Alrighty. Bef before we get to the vows, I just want to share something that Mikey and Danielle told me whilst we were chatting over the last couple of months. I think this story really tells just how perfect these two are for each other and how much they understand marriage and partnership. You see, what you might not know is that when Mikey received his diagnosis a few years ago, he actually gave Danielle the option to walk away, to have a life without worries and treatment and everything that comes with it. And without even a hesitation, Danielle told him to shut up because there was no choice. That, that was made years ago when she first saw that fiery red hair and she never looked back. So really, today is just the legals because as far as I'm concerned, this relationship truly transcends any piece of paper. That being said, we might as well make it legal anyways. We are all here. So let's get to the legal vows. Uh, Mikey and Danielle have chosen to write their own vows as well as do their legal vows. <laughs> I helped Mikey write them. <laughs> you came up with the content. Alrighty, so Mikey, repeat after me. You ready? Yeah, it's just slow and steady. Okay. I call upon the persons. I call upon the persons. Here present to witness that I, that I Michael Patrick Housefield, <laughs> take thee, take thee Danielle, Pearl Danielle Pearl Underwood, to be my lawfully wedded wife. Lawfully wedded wife. Nailed it. <laughs> You've still got uh, one more thing to read. <laughs> oh. Of course he goes first. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> Danielle, we're 12 years down with a lifetime to go. You've been by my side through some of the best and the happiest times of my life. I think some of the best things 
some times of my life were spent with you on the weekends fishing together. It was our thing. It didn't matter if we were catching nothing or a few dirty stinking carp. Just being with you every weekend was all that mattered. But it wasn't just the good things. You stood by me at my worst. No matter how dark them days were, we always have, and I vow that I always will tackle the good and the bad together. We will. I better also add in a few things I promised to do as your husband. Yeah, well, I'm going to try. Things like taking off my work boots at the door, putting my clothes in the washing basket, not next to it, on the floor, to put empty beer cans away instead of leaving them on the bench. And, of course, to I'll flick the kettle of a morning so it's bored when you get up. I promise to continue to smack your bum every single day, always love and support you and our family, about to be your husband now and always. We're nearly done, it's all right. <laughs> all right, Danielle, would you like to repeat after me? I can hold it. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Danielle Pearl Underwood, take thee, Michael Patrick Housefield, to be my lawfully wedded husband. Mikey, 12 years ago you captured my heart by being exactly who you are, the strongest, most loving, compassionate and stubborn person I've ever met or known. You have been my very best friend through the good and the bad. You are the reason I smile and you have given me comfort beyond measure when I've cried. I promise to love you, to be your best mate, to respect and support you, to be patient with you, to work together to achieve our goals, to accept you unconditionally, to share life with you, and to make sure there is always a cold beer for you to come home to. I vow to always be beside you, not only in this life, but the next. Together, we can conquer any challenge that comes our way and create a life filled with respect, love, laughter, and adventure. Mikey, I don't normally get things right the first time, but I sure as shit got something right with you. I am so proud that today I become your wife. I love you. <laughs> Rain on your wedding days, good luck. It's all right. Sorry, guys. Sorry. And it's not 40 degrees, so that's a positive. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> <Right? laughs> you got your boat ready? Daniela and Mikey will now exchange rings. As a symbol of the vows and commitments they have promised to one another. Duan, you ready for your moment? Your big moment to shine? There he is. We practiced it and he nailed it. Wear this ring. With love, as a reminder that I choose you now and always. With this ring, I thee wed. That's the right hand. <laughs> Wear this ring. With love. And as a reminder, and as a reminder that, I that I choose you now, now and always. With this ring, With this ring I thee wed. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, guys, it's too late to run now. Um, so I'm just going to make sure I'm out of all the shots. Because I would like to officially pronounce you husband and wife. And Mikey, you may kiss your lovely bride. (laughs) 
All right. I'll try and get you guys out of the rain as soon as possible. We just have to sign something very quickly. Or would you like to do that up? Yeah. Said. So I'll get Mikey and the um, witnesses to come over and we'll sign some paperwork.